In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a formwork or support type scaffold by defining a component at the top to act as a bearer on top of each standard. To do this, go to the design setup, go to extra setup, and select the top jack type to be any component you desire. So if we just specify base jack as the top component type, we can click OK, specify the height that we want the scaffold to go to, and then click OK again. As normal, we can make a wall anywhere we like, with no side brackets, and we can force straight lines by clicking on ortho, click OK, and specify the first and second point. We can then go back to our design setup by going to the pull down menu or the toolbar as previously shown, go back into extra setup and select in terms of the jack type just the normal base jack without the sole board or mud sill and the top jack type can actually be a different component such as a U-head jack. In this case we also want to be sure that the top of the scaffold doesn't have any handrails and will be totally flat so we will select the top handrail height to be none then click OK click OK again and we can make another wall this time with a specified number of bays, this time five bays, and we can specify the first point and second point for our five bays, and this time we'll select 1.8 meter bays. We can now add a section marker. just to designate where we want our elevation to appear and then build 3D. Now we can click on our 3D view again by going to the toolbar and select view 3D and we can see that in our first bay we have our base jack and sole boards at the bottom with our planking at the bottom and at the top for our support scaffold we have just a base jack at the top with no handrails. In our second example we have just a base jack with no boards at the bottom and we have our U head jack or J head jack at the very top. Remember these can be user defined, any component can be defined at the top of your scaffold. Remember that this will work with any type of scaffold system, metric or imperial measurements. We can then display our section that was predefined by going to plot setup, insert the section, the defined section was section AA and we can insert that into our drawing. Of course these components will be included in your material list. All you need to do as normal is to go to the quote option on your toolbar and right click and all the components will automatically be included in your account. So as you can see at the very bottom we have 12 U-head jacks represented in this drawing. If we want to look at this in more detail we can change the view back to our 3D view of our model, go back to our material list count and just window what we want to see the count for. So if we just zoom into an area and we click on these two items we can very quickly see that they represent two base jacks.
If we repeat the last command and select the U head jacks, as you can see, the components are counted. Remember that these components are fully customizable and our scaffold system will work with layer, cup lock, quick stage, frame or any variations of those systems.